Water here, and before we start this QA video, I do want to say because there's been some confusion about the videos I post up on the, the community post on YouTube and on my Instagram link will be down in the description a picture of the truck with the caption, you know, QA. Um, and you just put down your questions you have about me, the truck, the channel, or whatever it is. If you want to be on the QA, make the question unique and different. If you ask what exhaust am I gonna do, um, and all the common questions people ask, I more than likely won't pick it because I, I go over it in almost every single Q and A video. So make sure you comment something unique, something you want to learn, or anything like that, guys. But we'll get right into this Q and A video. But can you check out the scenery for a second? OBS Chevy on 20 by 12s next to Norris Lake. You can't get any better than this can't get any better than this okay guys so first question is cody anderson 7008 what would the obs body style be a platform to build on or something else um if you can find a clean obs chevy i would highly recommend building it with lower miles the problem is they're harder and harder to find and the aftermarket is starting to catch up to them where we get some of the products that the newer truck has so if you can find one with low mileage i highly recommend it OBS underscore Chevy underscore Live 32. Would you ever consider getting a Halo headlight? Love the videos. Thank you for the support, man. I appreciate it. No, I am not into Halos. I love my LEDs. I'm always going to be an LED guy unless the truck already came with like Halos or something. It's just not my style, so probably not. Park underscore ODM. What's your thoughts on re-gearing for bigger tires and the max tire size on stock gears? Um... For my next setup, I'm not going to have to re-gear the truck, um, but the max tire size, I would say on most trucks would probably be a 35, except for maybe that diesel category. I'm not a huge expert in this, guys, but from what I've read and could tell, 35s are about as big as you want to go for you want to re-gear is kind of what I've, I've seen with gas trucks, at least. Diesels are a little bit different, but for gas trucks, that's what I know. Soccer, uh, Santa Soccer 13, when actually getting a roll pan, buddy? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I want to do with the rear end, guys. I'm still debating on if I want to do a roll pan or a different style bumper or anything like that. I'm not 100% sure, but stick tuned for that. Christian underscore Blaine 03, is it possible to fit 22 or 24 inch wheels under a Chevy truck's 96 and up? By the way, love the videos. Yes, it is to fit as possible. It just depends on how wide you want to go. Um, on I know on 22s, if you want to run a 33, you can get away with about a three to four inch lift. Um, 24s, you're probably looking at probably a four to six inch lift. You're gonna have to do some trimming on the wheel wells because the Chevy guys and they've got square wheel wells. You will have to do some trimming on the bumpers and stuff, but you can definitely fit it. Cole, what what did you think of is trucks and water really who he says he is video? If you don't know what that video is, Tabby popping up right now for that video. Um, freaking loved your video man i very much appreciate the support and your kind words man i it was freaking awesome james underscore 5.2 how did you get your name basically the gist of the story is in high school i was a truck guru in my high school if you want to know anything about trucks um you came to me so one of my buddies in high school said all you need in life josh is trucks and water to be happy and the name just kind of stuck with me so when i made the youtube channel that's what the name popped up in my head um, D, D Kelly 01 train horn in the future yes don't know when but I want to do a train horn Brandon Poisel ever plan on getting a muscle car if so what car love the channel and the truck man um, I would love to get a muscle car for just as a just a fun vehicle to have um, what I would get of course would either be a Dodge probably a Dodge Hellcat I'm a Mopar guy at heart guys I love especially muscle car wise I'm Mopar muscle all the way uh, my dad had Mopar muscle when I was growing up. My grandfather had Mopar muscle growing up in the old school kind. But old school wise, I would love to have a Dodge Super B or Plymouth GTX. New school wise, a uh, Hellcat, of course. Um, and a Challenger. That underscore lifted underscore 98 Yukon. If you had an unlimited budget, what else would you do to the truck? By the way, love the vids. Unlimited budget, I would have this thing sitting on a six inch lift, coilovers, 
all the way around um, 24 by 14s or 26 by 16s, 37s, an uh, engine swap to like a 454 LSX or something like that, twin turbo. I mean, I would be going all out with this truck. But that's kind of what I was thinking if I had a limited budget. 750 Maz, ever put a thought into getting a motorcycle? I know this is a truck paid for motorcycles are fun AF. I actually grew up on motorcycle. I rode dirt bikes as a kid, and that's how I kind of got on the all automotive thing. That was my first passion and hobby in life was dirt bikes, and I loved it. Um, Motorcycle-wise, if I ever got a street legal bike, probably be a super moto. I'm not huge in the street just because the. It's not because I know I can ride. It's the sheer fact that no one knows how to drive anymore. Everyone's distracted, and you hear so many horror stories. And it's just not worth it to me at this point in my life where I have a lot of people counting on me for a lot of things and all that stuff. Um, rather be mudding. Any chance of an off-road build? If so, what would it be? Either a really beat-up Toyota or K10 Chevy or a Razor is what I would do for an off-road build. Um, Dev Martin 78 where do you see yourself in the channel in the next few years? Um... In the next few years, I would love to keep, you know, of course, keep growing, keep building the dream, the passion, the fan base, my family, like you all. Uh, I would love to get to the point where I'm making enough money on YouTube to build trucks to give away. Like, I would put a poll up, figure out what truck you all want to see, get the truck, and then put polls up to see what wheels, what lift kit you want, what, you know, what different mods you want in the truck. So that way, when I give it away, it's what most of the majority of you all want. That's why I see this stuff in the future. Of course, traveling more, meeting all of you and stuff like that. Of course, I see more in the future. OBS Chevy underscore 98. What all do I what should I do before getting ready to lift my truck? Um, make sure everything's 100% of the truck. Engine, transmission, suspension, anything wrong with the truck, get that fixed first. Second of all, make sure you do your research on your lift kit. Third of all, get a steering stabilizer. And fourth, make sure you know what wheels and tires you're gonna go with before you buy the lift kit. PG Duramax 96, where does the name Ashley come from? Honestly, guys, I was driving the truck home when I bought it, and it just came into my head, Ashley, and that's what stuck, really. That's that's basically the gist of the story of where Ashley, my K1500 name came from. What type of tire are you going to run with a 3.5 level, uh, level slash lift? Um, I'm just going to run at 33 like I normally do, but I'm going 22 by 14. Um, Steven... Mackey, you you want to sell her to me? Um, no, like I said, guys, my crazy asking price for this truck that I know I know no one would ever pay for this truck is twenty thousand dollars. If someone handed me twenty k cash, this truck would probably be sold and be getting myself what another truck. But unless someone does that, I'm not selling the truck. Basically, this guy is asking, should he buy a ninety seven ninety eight Z seventy one or buy a newer two thousand eight or newer? truck here's my thing if you find a truck like mine that's stupid clean never been used as a truck you know never been beaten on never been stuck in a mud hole or anything like that go for it buy this truck you'll love it, it does have a few issues but you'll freaking love it if you find a good deal in an 08 or newer silverado i would consider that over this just because of the sheer light reliability is more with those trucks and parts are kind of more plentiful for those trucks like modifying wise um it's just your personal preference man um but like i said if you can find a truck that's this kind of truck that's super stupid clean go for it if not go with the 08 or newer um kayla markaby would you ever get fender flares for your truck no i hate fender flares i don't like the way they look on a truck they're just not my style whatsoever Basically, what this guy's asking is, um, um, basically, do I still rub? Yes, the truck still rubs at full crank inside the fender wheel on the little lip right there if, if the suspension flexes. Other than that, I don't rub. Um, and, yeah, I would love to go up to the Midwest of Chicago and, do, and join up with a truck meet up there, but it has to be during the summertime because I'm not taking this truck up there in the winter with all the salt and crap on the roads. Um, are you ever going to put different wheels on on of keep the ones you have i am planning on putting different wheels on the truck but i'm not going to reveal that just yet why tow mirrors on an obs well um actually my factory stock mirrors a little i call them the impala mirrors um one was broken didn't want to work right it just after old age 
and I love these tow mirrors because they have the turn signals on the side and also lights up at night so you can see how wide your truck is or where your truck is on the road with people around you um, and I can see everything behind me like these mirrors are so nice because I can see literally everything behind me I don't really have a blind spot anymore like those old stock little mirrors have and it all just depends on personal preference too um, have you ever thought about putting a cowl induction hood on the K1500? Would you ever put a roll pan on the K1500? Um, cowl induction hood, no. I'm not a huge fan of those. Just not my taste. And roll pan, I'm debating on it right now. That's the gist of the Q&A, guys. If you want to be part of the next one, make sure you um, follow my Instagram page and or see the community post I post on YouTube about it. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this um, Q&A session. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, comment them down below, DM me. I try to get back to you as soon as possible. Other than that, guys, I hope you all have a great day. And remember, never give up on your dreams.